accuracy and precision. Are they the same or are they different? Let's find out. This GPS does not give me precise locations and this scale is not very accurate are two pretty common sentences. But what would happen if I were to switch the words around? Does it make sense if I say this GPS does not give me accurate locations or this scale is not very precise? Confused? Don't know? Well, that's not unusual because a lot of us use accuracy and precision interchangeably as if they were the same. And while they do sound similar, they're not the same because accuracy and precision, as you're about to find out, are totally different. Let's take an example from manufacturing. Suppose you employ four companies, A, B, C, and D, to manufacture three tubes each with the condition that each tube has an outer diameter or OD of one inch with a tolerance of plus or minus 50 thou. You want to plot these, of course, to gauge the teams or the companies against each other. And that being your target with those as your upper and lower limits from the tolerance, you draw a plot and suppose, arbitrarily speaking, it looks like this. Look at company A's tubes. Not only are they close to the target, they're also close to each other. Company A is accurate and precise. Company B is close to the target. It is inside the tolerance range, except their tubes are not close to each other in terms of their OD. Company B, therefore, is accurate but not precise. Company C, on the other hand, their ODs are close to each other, except they're all outside of the tolerance range and nowhere near the target. Company C, therefore, is not accurate or inaccurate but precise. Company D is a disaster. Not only are their tubes nowhere near each other, their ODs are also far away from the target itself. Company D is therefore inaccurate and imprecise. Still not clear? Okay, let's take a look at another example, one from sport, from my favorite sport, soccer. Suppose you and three of your friends are taking shots from a penalty spot on the goal. You take three shots on the upper left corner and they all go in. Your friend takes three shots but at different locations even though his shots also all go in. Your other friend takes three shots at the top right hand corner and although he misses the goal, his shots are not that far away from each other. Your third friend is a beginner or is terrible at the sport and his shots not only end up outside the goal, they're also nowhere near each other. You are being accurate and precise. Your friend who hits the target but not next to each other is also being accurate but he's imprecise. Your other friend, though his, goal, though his shots end up outside of the goal, they end up within each other's range. Therefore, he is inaccurate, but he is being precise. Your third friend is sadly being inaccurate and imprecise and also perhaps does not understand the rules of the sport. Alright, so far we have seen two different examples, one from manufacturing a sport, but they both contain discretized items, single tubes or single shots. What about continuous monitoring? All right, let's take a look at examples from control systems, namely aircraft autopilot. Suppose you're evaluating four different autopilot systems, each of whom is, is tasked with keeping an aircraft at 40,000 feet, give or take 500. Of course, as before, you want to plot these, but those use your targets and your ranges. Therefore, the aircraft autopilot must aim for 40K while keeping it between 40.5K and 39.5K feet. System A climbs the aircraft to 40,000 feet and does a reasonably good job of keeping it there. System A, therefore, is being accurate and precise. System B takes the aircraft above 40,000 feet, then overcompensates taking it below 40,000 feet and then overcompensates again. Now, it is close to the target but it's not being precise. It's within the range, within the tolerance zone, but it's not holding itself extremely well, as A is. Therefore, B is being accurate, but imprecise. System C, on the other hand, is taking the aircraft, or takes the aircraft, to 39,500 feet, and somehow doesn't take it to 40,000, but it does a good job of holding the aircraft at 39,500 feet. Therefore, therefore though, the, though the system is inaccurate, it is being precise. System D is all over the place, as you can see. It is in and out of the tolerance zone and nowhere near the target. D stands for disaster. System D is inaccurate and imprecise. Alright, what have we learned today? We learned the difference between accuracy and precision.
To sum up, accuracy is the proximity to the target, and precision is the repeatability of your results. In short, if this were the target, your accuracy is how close or farther away you are from the target, whereas your precision would be how good you are or how poor you are in the repeatability of your results. It is the statistical average of how close it is to being to the target. So in real life, you can be accurate and precise, accurate and imprecise, inaccurate but still precise, and in the worst case, inaccurate and imprecise. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel to get regular updates, and please feel free to leave any comments you have. But I request you to be accurate and precise.